for those who might not have tuned in for the first few episodes, can you just uh, describe your character a bit and maybe how you ca came onto the show? Warehouse uh, 13. So I don't have to tell people what Warehouse 13 is, do I? <laughs> They'll already, Warehouse 13. Go to sci-fi.com, Warehouse 13, you'll figure it out. Um, Artie is uh, the kind of Captain Nemo of Warehouse 13. In fact, his office looks like it was designed by Jules Verne. It's a, it's a steampunk office, for those of you that know what that means. And he's been there for maybe 25, 30 years, recruited in a way that I can't tell you or I'd have to kill you. Uh, but it, recruited, uh, he has no life except for the warehouse, really, anymore. It's a love-hate relationship. He is the curator of the place. Um, He's had agents work there before. They've either died or they've disappeared or they're, they've gone mad. And he's recruited two new agents, basically, in order to go out into the world and find artifacts that belong in the warehouse, artifacts that can ruin the world's day, artifacts that have uh, a power either uh, by, uh, by what has happened to the object itself over the centuries or maybe it was designed that way. Uh, the best way to describe it is if Thomas Jefferson had gotten uh, an iPod with earphones and he heard, you know, the Eroica Symphony, what would he do with that? How is an infinity orchestra able to be in this box? What would you do with that thing? What else is it capable of doing? And before you know what the power uh, or the danger of an object is, it may be best to hibernate it for a while. So the premise of the show is that there have been 13 warehouses. Uh, back, going back 3,000 years, uh, back to Egyptian times, through Mesopotamia and Babylonian and Greek and Roman and, you know, the Ottoman Empire into the Russian Empire, certainly the British Empire and now the American Empire. The, whatever uh, nation was able to have the power to control and protect the warehouse got the warehouse. So it's been in the United States power since the fall of the British Empire in Victorian times. It transferred from Victorian England to the United States. And at that time, the warehouse has collected all these objects for over 3,000 years. So the place itself has power and mystery, yeah. So like, uh, what's it like been working with this, uh, this amazing cast and uh, just getting to work on this uh, kind of show like this? Well, you know, I'm a working actor. I have a family, I have a mortgage, like, like everybody out there. And you do jobs uh, sometimes because uh, they, they seem that they'll be good at the time and they end up being nightmares or you end up thinking that you'll be end up in a nightmare and ends up being fabulous you never know I'm grateful that I do what I love for a living and I'm happen to be right now in one of the roles I would say I've been doing this for four decades five decades and I'm in one of the roles that come along every ten years where it's a magical role with an extraordinary group of co-stars and a great group of writers and a support, tremendous support of the network and studio executives. So the combination is, is odd, odd in the sense that you don't always get that kind of cohesion. And if you watch the show, you'll see that we're actually having as much fun as it looks like we're having.